Hi guys and welcome to Sergio's Structural Engineering channel. Today I would like to deal with all of you how we are going to get the area for the anchor bolts um, associated with a base plate for a steel uh, structure uh, column. Uh, for that uh, reason, uh, we are going to use as a reference design code uh, Eurocode 3, okay, part 1 of 8. Uh, uh, only I um, have to say that the best plate is uh, subjected to the following uh, forces and amending moments. As you can see the, in the perspective, it is shown a cut for the steel column where uh, uh, it can be shown or they are shown uh, the forces. Uh, in red, the, an actual force equal to 105 kN. Uh, the steel shape H. Uh, uh, double T uh, shape is also uh, stressed by a bending moment equal to 205 uh, kilonewton per meter and uh, represented in, uh, with yellow color, we are going to apply a shear equal to 120 kilonewtons. So if you are interested in the topic, please stay tuned and start it immediately. So let's start with the hard calculation. The first thing that we have to do is to present uh, the joint, the structural joint, uh, in the lateral way as it is uh, uh, represented in the left corner of the of the image. Okay. So uh, first thing also we have to uh, to think about it. It is that we are uh, considering an HEB, okay, HEB. 300 uh, as a as a steel shape for the, the for the steel column. Okay, uh, we are going to assume that the distance between the flange, okay, uh, uh, up to the up to the center line of the anchor ball is 50 mm. Uh, okay, and uh, in accordance with uh, in accordance with the Eurocode, we can assume that there is a compression compression located and the opposite flange of the system, okay? You also have to remember, as, as it is also indicated here at the right, at the right corner of the, of, the, of the image, that we have here an actual force equal to um, 100, 105 kilonewtons. In blue, a bending moment, by the moment equal to uh, 250 and a shear force represented in yellow color yellow color okay here here we got it with a value of 120 kilonewton okay uh, so um it is uh, also very interested uh, to represent the eccentricity of the load due to the bending moment applied to the bottom of the column okay so um starting uh, to write down in black the eccentricity it's uh, equal to the bending moment divided by the axial forces so uh, if we develop this division okay okay and we operate them we see the eccentricity of the vertical load is um, uh, rounded to 1.92 meters. That means, graphically, that the forces here is completely out of, out of the column, okay? And it also represents that our anchor balls are subjected to tension okay so it is very important uh, it's very important for the very beginning where we are going to face the design of a best plate is to see what is the eccentricity uh, okay in order to uh, verify if the anchor walls are going to be subjected to an important uh, tension axial forces or uh, otherwise for example we are going to have the axial forces inside and uh, the steel column shape uh, that uh, for sure is not going to create uh, uh, is not going to subject uh, to important stresses to the to the anchor ball. In this uh, problem, uh, we are trying to get the value for the tension forces. Okay, represented in green. 
So um, uh, the procedure to get that to that point is to establish uh, um, the balance forces or equilibrium of bending moments from uh, a point called O. Okay, that is the uh, where it is assumed that there is a compression. If you can see, uh, if you can see the graphical representation of the o forces and bending moments applies to the uh, to the best plate, uh, we can assume that we have a system like this. Okay, we have a system like this. No. Okay. So uh, in terms of balance, in terms of balance. It expected that this area of the shape at the best plate is under compression. Of course, if we uh, put uh, the reaction in the opposite way, we are going to have this compression. But of course, it is not the, the case. It is assumed that we are going to have here tension. Eh? Okay. So um, as you can see, this is the scheme of forces that allow us uh, to uh, reach the balance forces that the best plate and the anchor ball should provide to the to the feet of the of the structure or to the connection to the foundation. So so assuming that the mechanism is going to be the, the one indicated in the in the in the in the sketch, okay? If we take moments from O, we take moments from O, I'm assuming that our, uh, we are you know, on balance, uh, we, uh, we get the, the equilibrium. If we take a moment from, from O, we are going to have uh, this, um, these forces. Okay, so first of all, we started with, uh, um, with the actual forces. Okay, it is assumed uh, that located at the middle of the column. Okay, so we are going to have uh, N, N E D X multiply five in meters 0 0.15 okay uh, we are going to assume that clockwise is going to be positive okay uh, on the other hand we have the bending moment directly we apply without distance the value as we uh, indicated above is 205 kilonewton okay on and and for the last part of the equation we have to take into account the tension forces if you want to, I'm going to call it like a GED, okay? And uh, we are going to have a GED, it's clockwise, so it is positive. Uh, the value, the parameter is TD, is what we have the forces, the value of the forces, and has to be multiplied by uh, approximately 0 0.3, I'm sorry, in black, to be consistent, 0 0.3, plus 0 0.05, okay? If we isolate the term TEDx, okay, uh, we are going to have uh, the following values. Okay, by the moment, positive, uh, negative, it is going to be uh, 105 multiplied by 0 0.15, and we are going to divide it by the distance. Okay, uh, it is the height of the depth of the shape plus plus the cantilever cantilever of the of the distance between uh, the flange and the anchor bolt. So if we operate, if we operate, we are going to get the following value. The tension forces, the tension forces that the anchor bolts have to provide to the blast plate is equal to 540 kilonewton. Okay, so this is the uh, the strength, the tension strength uh, force of the anchor bolt in order to get balance to the system. Once we get the value of tension, uh, tension uh, strength forces to be provided by the anchor ball, it is pending to, to finalize or to solve the problem, is to get the value of the diameter of the anchor ball. Um, the first thing we have to do also it is to select what is the steel grade of the uh, uh, steel grade of the anchor ball to be used in the exercise. For this uh, practical uh, practical exercise, 
we are going to assume that the ultimate uh, uh, tensile strength of the anchor ball rise to 400 megapascals, okay? And for the practical purpose of uh, resolution of the, of the exercise, we are going to assume that uh, uh, we are going to check uh, if they are going to get balanced with an uh, anchor ball diameter 32. Uh, as we all know, we have to, we can get the area of a uh, uh, diameter 32 using this, this equation. Okay, so this is more or less, more or less 803 uh, square millimeters. In accordance with the uh, Euro code, uh, when we are going to design uh, the strength or the or to get uh, the string capacity of the anchor ball subjected to tensile, we have to follow the same the, the following equation. It is 0 0.9 ultimate uh, tension capacity divided by a uh, safety factor equal to gamma m m2 and multiply directly by the section of the arm cone bolt. So, if we proceed to develop these equations, okay, we get the strength capacity for a metric 32 equal to the value of, let's operate, 0.9, 400, 1.25 divided per, per, sorry, per, 83, divided, okay. So, one uh, anchor bolt, anchor bolt diameter 32 with a, a steel rate of 400 megapascals can provide safely 231 kilo Newton. So, and the number of anchor balls, the number of anchor balls uh, to be displayed uh, in the in the base plate is uh, is, is as easier as to divide the the design design uh, tension forces by the capacity of each anchor ball. So, five hundred and forty one divided by uh, 231 kilonewtons, it is 2.3 volts, of course, rounding the value, three uh, metric 32 are necessary uh, to solve the problem, and this is the final result of the design of the best plate. I really wish you have enjoyed the video as much as I, I did uh, making it possible, okay? So please don't forget to subscribe to Sector uh, Central Engineering channel or to visit my profile in LinkedIn where you can find a lot of content regarding uh, structural engineering and construction. So this is uh, the end for today. Uh, see you next time. Bye, take care.